Billy Fingers here playing Snooker versus the Ghost. Let's go over the point values. So starting with the red, which is are worth one point, all the way up to the black, which is worth seven points. So to start, I'm just gonna go with a cut break on the side. The idea here is just to spread out the reds and leave the black completely open. So as you see, I have a clear shot at the black. Now what I want to do is hit the black with follow and nudge that red ball in front of the side pocket. So I wanted to hit it in the side next. Um, it didn't get in front of the side as much as I was hoping for, so I'm not going to be able to make that shot. Instead, I'm going to go for the red straight ahead into the top right corner. So that's what I'm going to line up for. I'm just going to hit this red into the top corner. I'm going to draw it back just a little bit so I can play the brown next. Now I did draw back, I didn't draw back enough as that red is still blocking me. So I'm gonna have to now go for a bank shot. So what I'm gonna do is bank the brown into the top right corner and draw back out just a little bit. So that worked, drew out. I now am perfectly aligned for that red into the side pocket. So to get this out of the way now, I'm gonna go red and follow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the yellow into the top left corner. I'm gonna come off the rail and line myself up uh, so I can be straight onto those reds in the center of the table. So as you see, I come around, I am actually straight onto all the reds. Um, there's one red in particular, I can just go straight into the bottom right pocket. So I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna to hope to disturb some of the other reds and open them up a little bit. Uh, but I wanna play this one cautious. I don't wanna get snookered behind any ball right now. And if I stay in front of the pack, I have the blue or the green that I can shoot to later, maybe even the pink. So as you see, I follow and move up just a little bit. I do have a choice at the pink, but the more reliable, easier shot right now is the green. So I'm just gonna line up for the green, hit that with follow and come off the top rail. So now coming around, I have the red ball in the side pocket right in front of me. Um, I just gotta give it a little bit of draw and a little bit of left so I can float over for the pink and X. Okay, that was a little delayed and a little scary there, but thankfully it dropped. Now I have the pink. So pink in the same pocket, I follow. I follow because now I have a red. Um, that I'm straight on. I can easily float down on that red ball um, with some follow and then line myself up uh, to get the black next. So there's the red, follow, just a little bit like I said. Now I'm gonna hit the black in the bottom left corner and also apply some follow. So here again, I wanna disturb a few of the balls, loosen them up, I wanna come around the rail. Now I have another shot straight in. This will be another red ball in the bottom left corner. And I'm gonna follow this one as well so I can do the black again next. So once again, I'm straight in on the black. I do have a little bit of an angle. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little force follow, come off the rail again. So now I'm pretty lined up. I have a red into the side pocket. So I'm gonna attempt that with a little bit of draw. Now I was hoping to get a little more action on that so I wouldn't have such a steep angle on this black, but it's, it's a sharp angle, but I can still do it. I'm just gonna have to line up really carefully. So I'm gonna cut this and then come back up table. Okay, so I was hoping to stay in the middle of the table in front of the blue. Um, as you can see, because I'm behind the blue, I'm gonna have to hit the red into the top right. That's really the only option I have. So now that I've hit the red, I have many options. Uh, the best option right here would be the blue. I can play the blue into the bottom right. Um, that will bring me closer to some more reds. And then again, I'm getting closer to the black once again. 
So there, blue is gone. Now I have many options. I have a lot of reds in front of me that I can aim at. I'm gonna now just take this red with follow into the bottom left corner. So once again, I'm, I'm straight in on the black um, with just a slight angle, which I'll cheat the pocket and put some follow on this to come up off the rail again. So that would nudge the pink out. So now the pink is loose, the reds are loose, I have many options now. Okay, so I'm straight in on the red. So I'm just going to hit some follow on this red so that I can get close to the black. Hit the black next. Black obviously is going to go into the bottom right corner. The key is, again, I want to come back around. Uh, I'm going to hit some follow. Come back up to the middle of the table. Now, unfortunately, I ran into that red, which um, got frozen to the pink, so that's not ideal. Um, what I'm going to do now is cut the red uh, to the bottom left corner. Um, that's going to take the cue away from the black, unfortunately, but I, I'll have an ability to play either the yellow, the brown, the green. I'm just going to go to the top of the table. So like I said, I'll cut that into the corner. Now I'm up table. So now I have a few options. I can play the brown, I can play the blue. Um, I can follow any one of those. I'll probably play the brown into the bottom right corner, follow, and then get closer to the reds. Now I wanted to come up a little bit more. Um, didn't get exactly to the location I wanted. Um, the only shot I really have now is a bank shot. So I'm just gonna bank this red into the right side pocket. Now that I've banked the red and I hit that with follow, no one's gonna come around two rails so that I can have the black and the bottom left. I wanna make sure I don't hit this one too hard because I still need another shot at a red. As you see though, I hit it way too hard. The ball really got away from me. Um, technically, the match is over. I have 86 points. Um, there's only 43 points left on the table. So even if I miss and the ghost runs out, I would still win. But we're gonna play the rack out just to see what happens. I'm going to take the long shot into the bottom right, come off the rail so I can play the black in the same pocket. It's going to be too hard to hold up the red, that's why I decided to always go off the rail. Now as you see I'm looking to see how can I break out that red, uh, it doesn't seem like I really can. So I'm just going to play the black into the same pocket and then just play safe next. I'm just going to hit that black, I'm um, not going to try to draw, do anything crazy, I already acknowledged I'm not going to be able to get the perfect position on that red and continue the break and run. Instead I'll just settle for the points and I'll play safe on this red ball. So to play safe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bank it. I'm going to bank it up table um, and try to leave it on the right top rail. So I left it on the top right rail. I wanted the cue ball to be also up against the short rail up top. Um, this way it would have been hidden by the green. Um, the ghost now goes, he can see it, he's not going to try to ride the rail, so instead he's going to play safe. So he's going to bank this two rails, he wanted to leave it on the bottom rail, but it also got away from him. Now it's not a great shot for me either, I don't want to try to cut this, so I'm also going to try to play safe. So I'm going to move it back up table, try to hide behind the pink. Now I have the pink and the blue that I was trying to hide behind. Um, I left him a little window. So where I really wanted to do was leave him behind the pink. He does have a window between the two balls to kick at it. And that's what the ghost will do now. He's going to try to kick at the red and snooker me. So he goes for the kick. Um, also too hard. Because uh, he does leave me a shot. So I can now see the red. I make the red into the top right. Now I have many shots, many shots, so I'm just going to get a simple shot right in front of me. I'm just going to take the blue, take the five points. Now that all the reds are gone, once this blue comes back up, I'll have to sink the remaining balls in numerical order. So I'll start with the yellow, which is the lowest value ball. So that's just hanging there. So I'm just going to bring this back off the rail so I can go after the green next. So now I have a pretty straightforward shot. Now it's just speed. I want to come back, so I'm going to draw. I just don't want to draw too hard. 
Now, sadly, as you see, I actually drew too hard. So when I scratch on the green, I'm actually giving my opponent points. The ghost now gets the point value of the ball that I sunk. So he gets those three points, which is what the green was worth. Um, he now has to continue the rack and play it out. So he's going to go for the brown, which is worth four points. Um, he's going to hit that top corner. Again, come back two rails. Leaves himself perfectly lined up for the blue. So it's a straight shot. Blue, you can just draw back a little bit. Now the pink, same thing, draw back out. So here he goes. Black ball, final ball. This will be worth seven points. So I'm gonna clear out the pocket, make sure that it doesn't bounce back out. So you can see the key here is always trying to run out in the beginning, score as many points as you can. And if and when you get stuck, play safes. So we both played some sloppy safes. They weren't the ideal, um, but that's basically the goal. Let me know what you guys think, and until next time.